Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today I'm continuing on with my YouTuber conspiracy theory series. That rhymed. I'm gonna head in with part three today. So these are some other YouTubers I did not include in the last two theories. If you guys haven't seen those two compilation videos, I will link them down below in the description. I also have a video that's dedicated to that poppy, as well as the catch me outside, how about that girl. So if you guys wanna check all those out, I'll have a playlist below. Just a disclaimer, like I do in all my other conspiracy theory videos, this is not hate, this is not me saying that these are facts, these are conspiracy theories. It is up to your discretion whether or not you choose to believe them. I'm not even going to sit here and say if I believe them. These are just things that I think don't add up all that perfectly and are a little bit mysterious. Today we are going to be mainly talking about I guess you could say some current YouTubers, but as well as some OG YouTubers that if you have been a viewer for years, you're gonna know about and you probably are subscribed to them as well. I myself have been watching YouTube since it started, like since day one, so I've always really been interested in the first two theories we're gonna touch on. Bringing it to the first YouTuber, Copper Cab. Many of you guys may know him as the Gingers Have Soul guy on YouTube because he went super viral for that video. Gingers Have Souls! Ah! You don't know who has a soul and who doesn't. It pisses me off! That video actually was sort of aired on South Park. They were making fun of him and he also made a response video to that. All of his videos are basically trolling, just ranting about things he doesn't like. He does seem to have somewhat of anger management problems, but he claims that he does it in his videos, that he's perfectly normal. Now he says that he's transgender. A lot of people refer to him as transgender. He talks about a lot of current trending topics that are for sure going to get a rise out of some people, or he can just sit there and talk about a lot, saying that ginger is a different race, apologizing for slavery, all this stuff that makes you click on it basically because it's like, what? It's just so out there. And when you're watching it, you can't help but laugh because you're like, is this, is this guy for real? Like the things that he's saying, basically the conspiracy behind him is that he doesn't really act that way in real life. That it's all a show to get views, to get that AdSense money. And if you watch his videos really closely, it makes sense. But at the same time, I don't understand how someone can put on a show for that long. Like he's literally been on YouTube for years doing this, uploading pretty consistently. I'm going to insert a clip of him on a live stream. Hi. I feel so sick right now. I just ate a chicken sandwich and it was fucking delicious, but oh, my stomach hurts. This makes it seem like maybe he is trolling in all those videos just because he seems relatively normal in the live stream. He's more toned down. He's not screaming for once. I don't know if this guy's legit and he just happens to film all of his videos while he's amped up and he's mad about something, but that really made me think, okay, Maybe this guy's just like the world's greatest actor. If you watch his videos, he never once breaks character. Like in all of his actual YouTube videos, he acts the same, he appears the same. Conspiracy theorists think that possibly his first video, the Gingers Have Souls video, was legit and he was really angry and he was really upset when making that video. But then when he saw how many views he got and the money he could have potentially made off that or probably did if he did have the video monetized at the time, he decided to continue on with the channel sort of as a hobby and just acting. The whole thing was acting. So a lot of people don't necessarily believe that it's all fake or that it's all real, that maybe it started off real and he just wanted to continue doing everything for views. Either way, this guy is hilarious, whether he means to be or not. So you guys should definitely check out his channel. This next conspiracy theory is basically very, very similar to the one I just talked about. It is the channel Waffle Pwn. And if you guys don't know what that channel is, it doesn't ring a bell. The title, World's Greatest Freakout, where the guy puts the remote up his butt, you guys may know what I'm referring to now. That's that channel. Okay, my mom just canceled my brother's uh, World of Warcraft account and he is freaking <gasps> out. <laughs> video, the first one went viral, this kid, the guy's brother, made a living off of recording his brother whenever he was having a moment like that and uploading it to the internet. So as you can see on their channel, they have a ton of these videos. Like he just kept continuing to put these out there. The conspiracy with that is also that perhaps it was staged or perhaps like with Copper Cap, the theory that I find to be most believable. Maybe the first video was real and after that they just kept it going. I'm gonna insert a clip that I found on here. I'll give credits in the description box to whoever posted this where his mom is like on some sort of podcast and it sounds just like her. Obviously we don't know this is really her, but it sounds just like his mom from the videos. I'm calling him right now. Waffle Pone. Hi, is a uh, Waffle Pone there? Who? Waffle? Uh, yeah. 
Hang out, please. Uh, this is his mom. Hi. Uh, oh, this is Kid Chris. We're uh, uh, radio guys. We uh, we emailed him about coming on the show to talk about those videos. Oh, okay. Hey, um, hey, hey, can I ask, is, is this the mom that's in the video? Yes. Uh, those are real, right? No. They're not? I don't, you know what? He's been kind of back and forth on what, whether he wants people to know or not. And you would think that after a while, if this was real, it would make the parents kind of sad and they wouldn't want the older brother to upload it. I don't know. It just, after so many videos of this guy posting his brother like that, it makes you wonder. Also, if you see in one of the most viral videos he has, the one where he smashes the truck with the baseball bat, it looks like they're almost taking two cuts of the video because he changes shirts or something like that. Again, and we just don't really know. Maybe the whole thing was set up from the beginning. Maybe the first one was real and the rest were all just staged. But these guys, I've been watching them for years and I just never really knew for sure. When I was younger, I definitely believed it 100%. But as you get older, you're kind of like, wait, like... This guy made a career out of that. That's just a little bit suspicious. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Moving on to another conspiracy about a couple of YouTubers. I mentioned Rice Gum in my first YouTuber conspiracy theory video. Again, that's linked below. And I talked about him with FouseyTube and how basically I think they did something that was a little bit of like a publicity stunt. This time I'm going to be talking about Rice Gum and Jacob Sartorius. So if you guys don't know who Rice Gum is, you probably do. I'm not even gonna try to explain who he is. I believe he was the fastest male growing YouTuber last year, like in 2016 or whatever, but he makes diss tracks. He makes really funny like satire comedy videos reacting to a lot of stuff. His second most popular video on his channel to this day even is his These Kids Must Be Stopped video where he's basically reacting to Jacob Sartorius, Lauren Gray, a whole bunch of other little musers and he was just kind of making fun of it and saying how they were doing things that were inappropriate and his mom would never let him behave that way on Musical.ly if he was their age. That video was posted in December of 2015. It blew up his channel. He got really big off that. And then most of those musers that were in the video did kind of like reactions to it that went viral, whether they intended them to or not. Like it was recorded on You Now, for example, where Lauren was mad, Jacob was mad. They were just like, oh, this kid, he's making fun of us because we just got more famous than he did, all this stuff. And Rice Gum did diss tracks on them personally based off those reactions. So that just sort of blew up everywhere. And I believe that Jacob and Lauren, all those musers did get a lot of hate because of that video because it brought light to the fact that they were singing inappropriate lyrics and all the stuff that maybe people would have brushed over before. That's actually personally how I found all of their social medias. I'm not really in that age range. I've never had a Musical.ly, so I didn't know who they were before that. Regardless, I do think they got a ton of hate because that video went so viral and he was like basically just hating on them and making fun of them and saying they were too young to be acting that way. So <laughs> this is where I guess you could say the conspiracy comes into play. Six months after that video went viral in December, when it was aired, Jacob came out with a music video called Freaky Friday that Rice Gum was in. Most people were like, why is Rice Gum in this video after he literally roasted you so hard six months ago? Conspiracy theorists and a bunch of people in the comment section on that video believe that Jacob actually paid Rice Gum to be in the video so he would stop getting so much hate. And Jacob Satorius fans, do not come for me. This is not me saying that's the case. This is not me saying that's bad. This is me saying, if that's true, that's actually how it works. That's business. Before I did YouTube, I was talking to one of my really good friends who's really good friends with like a really, really big YouTuber. And she was telling me that when that YouTuber collabs with smaller YouTubers, the smaller YouTubers will pay that bigger YouTuber. And I was like, that's insane. Why wouldn't you just make videos? Like, it's fun, you know? But once I started doing YouTube myself, I realized that's how it works because that's it's fair. It's only fair. When you're a bigger YouTuber, you're giving that smaller YouTuber more exposure. Ultimately, they're gonna earn more off their ad revenue. It's just how it works because you can't be doing favors for everyone. Obviously, Jacob wasn't a small YouTuber by any means, but Rice Gum had surpassed 2 million subscribers, and if you look on Jacob's social blade, he still had less than a million, so that is kind of a pretty big gap, especially because Rice Gum gets a ton of views on everything that he does post. It's usually proper etiquette when you're collabing with someone that you do have a similar amount of followers or there is monetary exchange going on. Unless you're like really good friends, then it's just it's just friendship, you know? Then it doesn't really matter so much about the followers. But as you can tell, they weren't really friends. They're not even remotely the same age. I just sort of do think that it was like a business deal and it would be in Jacob's best interest because when that video was posted with Rice Gum, if you look in the comments section, everyone's commenting, oh, came here for Rice Gum. Oh, Jacob, you're not that bad. You're friends with Rice Gum, like you're cool now. So I think the hate diminished a little bit because he was friends with the guy who roasted him. When you do a music video, I can't 
speak for personal experience because I'm not a singer, I've never been in a music video or anything, but you usually are paying the people in it anyways, whether it's girls in bikinis, it's the videographer, etc. So even if it wasn't for the difference in numbers and the way things happen with Rice Gum's diss track and the These Kids Must Be Sought video and all the hate that Jacob was getting, I just think that Jacob paid him regardless. Maybe you guys didn't really think about that because when I was reading the comment section on the Freaky Friday video, I thought it was really funny that people were saying things like, oh, they're best friends now. I just thought that was really interesting. And I told some people that and they said that it had never really crossed their minds. And I just, knowing how this stuff kind of works and looking into it, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in the video. So yeah, that's the conspiracy I have for that one. And now moving into our last and final conspiracy for this video, we're gonna be talking about Benjamin Bennett. And I had no idea who this guy was until a couple days ago. I actually got a ton of requests to do a video on him, but I didn't wanna do a dedicated one. I just wanted to throw it in here because he is a YouTuber and he is pretty current right now. If you don't know who he is, he makes videos where he's live streaming and he does it where it uploads to YouTube of him sitting like this, crisscross applesauce, smiling for hours on end without moving at all. That sounds weird in itself, right? That sounds like really strange. It gets weirder. There's one video where a fly drops on his forehead. It lands right there and he doesn't move still. A bug comes out of his shirt pocket. He doesn't move still. One video, someone breaks into his house and he doesn't respond. He doesn't move. He stays in the same exact position and then the house robber leaves. <laughs> Hello? It almost makes you think that that was fake, but as you can see in the description of that YouTube live stream, he further explains the break in and that nothing valuable was actually taken from the house. When you look at everything else, you're like, no, this, this kid's for real. He just literally didn't even answer to that guy who tried to rob his house. One video, he peed his pants because he was sitting there for so long, he didn't get up, he just sat there, same position, smiling, and peed his pants. So when you look at his channel overall and all the things that I just described, it is a little bit creepy. It's a little bit weird. No hate towards him whatsoever. Like honestly props because I can't sit still for four minutes, let alone four hours, but he does it and people watch. Like he has over 80,000 subscribers. He also has a Facebook and he has a website. I believe it's called Sitting and Smiling. Like he uploads it to the website as well. Like this is just his life it seems like. Basically people just don't understand his intentions for doing this. Is he mentally ill? Is this some sort of a sick joke? Is he being kidnapped like Marina Joyce was? Illuminati? naughty people tend to always jump to those sort of theories I guess when they don't understand things and when people don't understand things it tends to scare them that's just human nature so there are a lot of out there wild theories on Benjamin Bennett because of his videos and because of how dedicated he is to sitting and smiling like he literally has so many videos of him doing this if you do some research on this kid he actually does music like he he kind of performs and he speaks in front of an audience it's nothing I've really ever seen before not like your typical singer or you know playing the guitar or something, but it's a form of art. A lot of people will consider what he does a form of art. And so overall, basically what he's come out and said is that I don't owe anyone an explanation for what I do. I don't understand why people think it's strange. So regardless of those crazy theories, a lot of people have just come to the conclusion that maybe he's just doing this because it's his form of art. There's nothing else going on. There's nothing anyone should be concerned about. That is the Benjamin Bennett YouTuber conspiracy theory. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a big thumbs up. Check out the other ones in the playlist below. Subscribe to my channel I would love to have you guys here welcome all the new subscribers by the way who came from Shane's video because he did do a reaction video kind of like to my video I did about him and Trisha and that conspiracy we skyped and everything you guys probably saw that on his channel a lot of you guys I know came from him so welcome to the fam yeah hit notification bell next to the subscription box if you want to be notified and first when I upload videos that would help me out a lot and leave a comment below let me know your thoughts on these conspiracies if you believe any of them if you don't believe any of them check out my social media if you want to be friends outside of YouTube because I'm really active on all of those and I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators. Bye.